Not long after I lost Jamie, me and my mom moved back into her dad's old trailer, and I started going to Corelli Elementary, which was a much better school than Bowley. A year later, 1996, One Saturday night, my mom wouldn't let me watch SNCC, which I watched religiously. I got so mad that I pulled the phone out of the wall. I was admitted to Woolen Hills Hospital, which was a children's rehab. The kids there were nice, but the adults were mean. I had to stay there for two whole weeks. It was awful. A year later, in 1997, I started junior high and hated it. The work was harder and the teachers were mean. A year later, in 1998, I started 8th grade. Then a year later, 1999, when I turned 15, it happened. I became diagnosed with severe depression in April. It lasted all summer long. Worst summer of my life. That fall, I started taking antidepressants. A year later, 2000, I started going to this group at this rehab called Hell Paradigm. I went every day after school. The only friend I made there was a girl named Sarah Nasser. She and I were the only well-behaved kids there. A year later, 2001, I left high school and started going to this GD program. I loved it at first until the teachers, Ms. Waits and Ms. Gage, left. Then a year later, they were replaced by a math teacher named Ms. Wilder and a member of the school board named Mr. Kane that all the teachers and students hated. He ruined the program. A year later, 2002, in December, the constant raining and cold weather caused me to become so depressed that I had to go stay at this rehab called Glenwood Behavioral Health Unit, which was once where, which was once Woolen Hills Hospital. I didn't stay very long though. Two years later, 2004, I quit the GED program and studied for the GED at home. So far, I've taken it three times. Four years later, I had recurrent bladder infections that I had to take a bunch of antibiotics for. All of those antibiotics gave me acid reflux. In conclusion, all the horrible things that happened to me in my life were all Garfield's fault. He planned all of it. He wanted me to be born just so he could ruin my life. All these years, he went out of his way to, to torture me, to take everything from me. A loving family, friends, wealth, a good education, and a successful job.